Put into my feet Cause there's a mama down there Just shaking her hips Like she just don't give a damn And the jazz band That's swinging a bit of dicks We are the Delta Saints I am Ben Ringle uh, Originally from Louisiana And I sing and play the resonator guitar It's here on my left Uncle Steve No, it's Uncle Steve <laughs> Yeah I'm uh, Steven Hanner, and I play the harmonica and percussion for the group. My name is Dylan, and I play guitar. His name is Chuck Five. I'm David, and I play the bass. Uh, ben Ozzie, I play drums for the Delta Saints. You rock your head back, and your hair fall down your neck. Cause you a pretty little thing, there's a cage of queen and you just don't give a damn You whisper words upon my ear that's sounding dirty ah. Nashville's known for country music, uh, but there's a huge uh, movement with, with kind of rock and roll and, and blues rock uh, Jack White and all of Third Man Records is there, uh, the Black Keys are there um, Who else? Kings of Leon are from there, you know, so it's, it's a really great city for music uh, just a million musicians there, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't, I don't know if, if, I don't know if different is maybe the right word, but but we're, we really focused in on kind of our, this new generation of like blues and, and blues rock and, and rock and roll and, and whatnot, and, and it really uh, allowed us to to really focus on it and, and to try and, and make our own style of it. So uh, I definitely think Nashville and, and the competition there really kind of flushed out our sound. Mother, don't let your sons become musicians. I think would be would be the number one. Uh, I don't I don't know. None of us are really too voodoo. We we, we enjoy the music, but uh, fascinated by it. Fascinated by it. Drink good bourbon and play loud music. I think is moral of the story. Moral of the story. So I am Ben Ringel, um, and I sing and play guitar for the Delta Saints. Hi, I'm uh, Dylan Fitch, and I play guitar for the Delta Saints. Yeah, so it's, we're calling it the Farewell for Now tour. Um, we. Uh, we just, we've been doing this for 10 years. We still love doing it, love playing music every night with each other and writing with each other. Um, but we're just kind of taking a little bit of time and writing other music, starting other projects, just to kind of, you know, uh, flush out what's in our brain. And, uh, you know, leaving the door open to come back and write another Delta Saints record or do another Delta Saints tour or down the road um, when we, yeah, when we kind of chase, chase some other muses, I guess. Yeah, the lineup in this band has changed a couple times. Um, was that harmonica? Yeah, Moulin Blues. That was with uh, Stephen Hanner. So that was with um, our second harmonica player. And uh, since then, we replaced harmonica with keys. So Nate Kramer is our keyboardist. And um, also since then, uh, we've gotten a new drummer, Vincent Williams. Um, and that's been awesome. And all, all, all these different changes kind of just happened as they do. People have different life directions and things like that. And um, so we have just kind of kept the music going. And I think that's the main point about, you know, these new projects and new things is there's just, we just are wanting to keep the music going. And so we're not closing the door on the Delta Saints, but we're also not closing the door on all kinds of things. So. Delta Saints, it started organically. It's literally just started as uh, you know, David Speak, our bass player, and myself and our original drummer getting together just as friends to play music and drink beer. Like that was the one goal. The goal wasn't make records, 
play live shows, tour Europe. Uh, I mean, it's I, everybody has their influences, right? I I would say that's as organic as it gets. Sure. Yeah. No. Like. Yeah. Your 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 desire to to impress people, girls, you know, whatever, drink beer, mm -hmm. um, and so. It, it started that way, and then it just naturally grew into, hey, let's make a record. And then then it grew into, let's play some shows. And then organically had a guitar player leave and found Dylan. And it was just like, he played with us, and we were like, dude, it's a great fit, let's keep playing. And then, it, so it, it is, I think the Delta Saints is the epitome of an organic thing. Evolution, Evolution yeah, of uh, just, you know, now we're here and it, you know in this great place where we still love playing together and now we're excited about seeing what else is out there and still keeping the possibility of you know the delta saints you know so again it's nothing is put on nothing is you know for better or worse we've never been really the band that plays a lot of the um like the game of the record industry you know yeah. of like you know you got to write your hit song that's three minutes long you know and 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 be made in LA and all this kind of stuff that's just never really been us <laughs> I don't know if we're a jam band because again those kinds of bands are are doing their own thing and doing it in a really great way but we we like playing our instruments and we like playing together and we like seeing songs go to new places right so it's like we're not a jam band but at the same time we are a band that does jam jam so I don't know it's this weird middle ground I think we're all just really scared of commitment mm -hmm. and so you know it's like we can't commit to being like quite a jam band we just let things happen and i think that's kind of the the message here is like whatever we're doing musically there's a, we've we've had different people kind of we've had fans come and go depending on these different music changes and and you know i think the the point is we've just let the music take us where it's going to take us and um and we continue to do that and so that is organic, and it is jammy, and it is all these things that you mentioned. Um, and so I think that, you know, is just the theme of how we have always conducted this band. Every time we've had a member change, there's been you know new adjustments and and every time we've had a had to put out a record without a label or with a label or you know it, there's always been certain challenges and and things so definitely bumpy but definitely incredible and pleasurable and positive like i i think we we just had dinner and we were talking about how in, all these incredible trips that we've had together and you know it's been we love it you know there's nothing to there's no sourness there's nothing to look back on and be like oh man i wish you know i remember this part it really sucked you know it's great it was yeah. all it was awesome well, well i think that the the best music or the uh, art or cre create creation i guess it comes from the ups and downs right and uh i yeah i just think we're no different i think it's uh it's yeah it's been highs and lows but it comes out I think just a, a really positive, at least for us, you know, I can only speak for, for just the band, right? But like we've, it has been an incredible journey so far and I think we're all excited about what happens next, what, what's in the future. We've got songs that even lyrically reflect some of these things going on. Maybe not so directly, you might have to decipher some things, but um, we are very influenced by the things that are happening in the world. And yeah. It comes out in the music, for sure. Yeah, I think, well, we have a song called Are You on the record, and it's, uh, yeah, it's just, a, it's it's kind of about that. It's, it's um, it started out as, as that, really, of just kind of not knowing, um, who someone actually is, be it, and, and you know, be it. What they tell you yeah, is true. Yeah, kind of yeah. stemming from a lot of this, the political, you know, you, you hear somebody say something 
on a campaign trail and I, I don't know if they're going to do it. You know, I don't know if they're telling me what's actually going to happen. Um, but I think we all, we all pay really close attention to what's going on around us. I would love to say that uh, we love our fans, we love you and anybody who's supported us and if there's one thing you can do and go out and make someone else's life better, do it and every human being is equal and remember that and uh, yeah, just spread the love. Fuck Trump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anarchy. Yeah, I guess that is, that is anything.